Alright guys, hang on tight. One hand. Is that a hand? Oh yeah. Guys, please be seated. Thank you. One hand, two hands, we're all clear for dispatch. I'm gonna take your hands and wave goodbye to lovely people on the dock. Guys, that is so rude of you to rub it in their faces. They're just doing it. Welcome aboard the world famous Jungle Cruise, everyone. You're aboard the Lolly today, and my name is Skipper Mike. Today I'll be your skipper, your lion tamer, your snake charmer, your dance instructor, and if you don't laugh at my jokes, your swimming instructor. Alright, so me and the pirate are making it back on the boat. Alright, whatever guys, your choice. A few bits of safety information. Please remain seated at all times. Please keep your hands, arms, legs, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, friends, both real and imaginary, inside the boat at all times. Finally, we're traveling with young ones today. Please keep a close eye. The crocodile's here in the room. Oh, we need to be seated in the back there, my ninja. Yep, you're not that sneaky. Please be seated for me. Alright. Yeah, guys, only a crazy person stands up on a moving boat. Alright, guys, welcome to the Amazon rainforest. On the left is the world-famous Inspiration Falls. Now, people ask me all the time why they call it Inspiration Falls. And it's because it inspires normally sensitive people, much like yourselves, to travel deeper and deeper and deeper into the jungle. Everybody say, ooh, oh, man, sorry to make the bad joke about standing up on the boat. Everyone say, ah. Isn't that inspiring? I'm inspired to tell you more about our journey today. Welcome to the Congo River, everyone! It's in the deepest, darkest part of Central Africa. And now, I knew it would all be coming. We're pretty telepathetic like that. So I told my pygmy friends to have a party ready. Who likes parties? Yeah, there should be some food, some dancing, and they should be right. Oh. This actually reminds me a lot of my 8th birthday party. And my 9th birthday party. And my 10th birthday party. And my 21st birthday party. Ah! I think I know what scared them off, guys. Look at that giant python. Yeah, he can go up to 25 feet long. He's actually really friendly, though. He can develop quite a crush on you, so please be careful. Yeah, it's a real constricting relationship. Oh. Sir, what did you just call them? Those are my in-laws. How dare you insult them? I'm the only one who can insult them. Do me a favor, though, sir. Please don't make any sudden sounds like a banana. It drives them absolutely ape, okay? Yeah, they just find it so appealing. Switching topics and rivers. We're now in the Nile River, everyone. It's over 4,000 Niles long. It goes on for Niles and Niles and Niles. And if you don't believe me, you're just in... Africa. I just said... Speaking of Africa, on the left, that is Max. He is an African bull elephant. We can tell Max is an African elephant because, well, we're in Africa, guys. Yeah, it's funny how logic works. On the right side of the room, this is Joey. Joey's my favorite. Watch this. Speak! Louder, Joey! Alright, spray the boat, Joey. Ah, I'm just kidding, guys. That comes later. On the right, everyone, this is the sandstone rock formation. Now, most people just take it for granted. <laughs> but personally, I think it's one of our bolder attractions here. Yeah, it rocks. Oh, guys, and look, this is the African belt. We're learning the number one rule of the jungle. Never be a zebra. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, for all the kids on board, he's just sleeping, guys, sleeping. I think it's bedtime, because he looks dead tired to me. Oh, and check this out, guys. So this was my last trip. Remember I promised that part about no laughing equals swimming? Well, they swam and they made it to shore, but I don't think they made it far. Because you cannot outrun a full-grown rhino. They can actually run faster than a horse can gallop. But uh, I think those guys will get the point in the end, now, won't they? <laughs> it's such an uplifting experience here in the jungle. Please, at this time, I invite you to pick out your favorite friend or family member. Hang on tight, we're headed in the crocodile territory. On the right, that's my friend Old Smiley. He's over 100 years old, pretty lazy though now, always looking for a handout. On his right is his girlfriend, Ginger. Be careful, folks. Ginger snaps. Oh, yeah, she's one tough cookie. Oh. I know that one's pretty crummy, but I'm uh, milking it for all it's worth. Oh, uh, guys, I need to watch out. We need to lean in. We might not make it. We might not make it. Come on, lean in, guys. Lean in, lean in, lean in. Lean in. Please, please, please keep your hands inside the boat. This is very dangerous. These hippos, they love finger food, okay? 
Now, last week on board, I had a bunch of teachers. The writing teacher stuck her hand out. She only teaches shorthand now. It's actually tragic. The math teacher jumped in to save her. He's history. Now, looks like they're going away. I've appeared to scare them off. Just like every girl I've ever passed down. But, uh, we're not safe yet because we're headed into Headhunter territory. It's a terrible, terrible place to be headed. On the right's an example of some native arts and crafts. That's art and his craft. Now, the circle dance here, that is a native circle war dance. They dance like that.